Good morning guys. It is Friday, 8 a.m. And today's video, I'm doing a little bit of a vlog style morning routine with 14 dogs. Yes, we have 14. Is it 14? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, 14 dogs. So we have 14 dogs currently, 6 adults, 8 puppies. And I thought it would be fun to kind of do a vlog style morning routine with you guys. Show you what all goes into my morning. And also, at the end, give you guys a little bit of a puppy update. Um, show you guys the puppies. They're three weeks old tomorrow. Their eyes have opened. We started potty training and I just thought it'd be really fun to kind of give you guys an update on that as well. So, if you're new here and you enjoyed this video, make sure to give that thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's just go start my morning routine, which normally starts with the dogs, obviously. Hush. Good morning. Did I start y'all? Alright, I just want to point this out. This is for all the haters that come at me for Harlow not having a bed. You see this? I bought her this bed yesterday thinking, oh, it's thinner. She'll like it since it's not super thick. She slept right here the whole night. The whole night. So, to all you haters about the dog bed, hop off. All right, so normally I start with Indian Jagger going outside. It's disgusting out there. And then I do Ellie with them as well. So let's go get Miss Ellie out. Come on, baby. Come on. And the two towels are always here to wipe feet. If you guys are new here, you know that. And then Willow and Ivy will go out next by themselves, and then Harlow will go out last by herself. I'm gonna leave her in here while I check on puppies though, cause I leave this door open to the puppies and let Indy sleep out here and kinda go in and out as she pleases. Let's go check on everyone. Gotta, oh goodness. Flip my light on. Check on everyone. We've started using pee pads, as you can tell. Everyone seems to be doing great this morning. They're so cute. They've actually started to be able to hear, so. Jackson heard me. Good morning, Jackson. He is the cutest thing ever. So, normally, in the mornings, as far as like puppies go, I just come in here, check on everyone, make sure everyone's looking good and is there and everything's fine and normal. Wow, like I let the dogs out. And then once all the dogs are finished being let out for the morning, um, I'll start like doing the puppies pit and all that stuff. So these three look like they're done. So. I'm gonna let them all in and wipe everyone's paws. You guys ask me a lot how I keep the dog or like the house clean. I wipe paws every single time we come in and go, like come in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'll set you guys up so you can kind of see that and then I'm gonna let the other dogs out. theme of keeping like our house clean and how we managed to do that with six dogs like I've said before we have like a messy house at times like it definitely trust me it's not always clean it drives me insane but like I said what helps that is wiping paws we do a ton of air fresheners throughout the house and then Carlo and Jagger playing if you do that and then in here we have this thing right here I have this remote and I'm gonna turn it on I normally turn it on, turn it on first thing in the mornings um, and it is a air purifier that runs, sucks in the turner. 
I always have like lullaby music in the back too when we have puppies. Going, hey, drag. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the pure heart. Ignore my hair, like I said, I just got up. But um, that like pulls in the dirty air and puts out clean air. Um, takes all the, a lot of the dust out of the air and stuff. So. Morning play sessions. <laughs> Everyone's getting in their morning play session in here today since it is rainy and muddy outside. But normally after letting out the dogs, this is when I feed everyone breakfast. I saw someone comment on my last morning routine um, about rehydrating kibble. Um, if you're new here, we do do that. We do dinner a lot more, I guess it's exquisite around here than breakfast. We might start doing the same for breakfast. But as of now, we... We both work full time and just doing all that in the morning for breakfast just isn't feasible sometimes, especially with six dogs. So in the morning for breakfast, the dogs just get regular old kibble. Indy gets her a ball. Carla and Jared get them a ball. The poodles get a ball and then Ellie gets a ball. So I'll show you guys that real quick. But yeah, that's why we don't do anything big for breakfast. Um, for dinner, they get their kibble rehydrated. They get goat's milk, they get sardines, they get green beans, they get eggs. Um, they get a ton of different stuff for dinner, so dinner is definitely more um, of a quality meal around here, but we do feed them Purina Pro Plan if you're new here and don't know that. So yeah, I'm going to feed them breakfast real quick, and normally when I feed breakfast, everyone goes up in their like crates, and then once like 10 minutes pass, everyone's normally done eating or eating, done eating what they're going to eat in that moment, and then I'll let everyone out to play again, and then that's when I'll go into cleaning out the puppy area and things like that. All right, guys, so I got all my bowls here. Do two scoops in the poodle's food. They each get a scoop and they eat out of this. Ignore this contraption. This is to keep the poodles out from back here, trying to get to the puppies and look at them. Somehow they figure it out every single time that I get Jagger two scoops. This is Ellie's. She gets puppy food. About one and a half cups. Uh -uh. We'll just try the sneak. And this is Harlow's bowl for the breakfast time at least. Well, oh, watch out. You can see Willow's very intrigued. You want a bite? There you go. Take that bite. About to feed you. And then Indy already has food in her bowl. So, here's everyone's bowl. So, we'll do Ellie first. Ellie, you want some? Breakfast? Come on. Want breakfast? Come on. Willow, you're not. This is not your breakfast. Go on. Go, girl. Ivy's already in her crate for breakfast. And then I gotta put water in everyone's bowls. All right, girls, y'all want next? Come on. Oh, uh, Ivy. Come on, go. Yum, yum, yum. There you go. Indy, come on. Like I said, Indy already has food from last night. She didn't eat. Jaggers, come on, bud. You not hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> and then this is Harlow's, but they just eat out in this area, so they'll kind of go back and forth between each other's. So I just normally pop Harlow's right here in the middle. To water all the dogs we don't have a water source out here yet like a sink so i take just the milk jar put water in it and this is how i water the dogs 
All right, guys, while the dogs eat, I leave them in their room. And then I'm taking the water jug and going ahead and filling it up in our bathroom in the bathtub because it's quicker than the sink. Because we live, it's yellow in here. We live in the country, y'all. If you couldn't tell by my accent. And the water pressure not good around here so I'm gonna fill up their water so it's good for later or whenever I need it so I can top it off and then let them eat give them about 10 minutes and normally during this time I'll kind of do what I need to do so I might change um, into something else out of my PJs and put on some clothes for the day and then stuff like that during this time it's really yellow in here but it's too early in the morning for there to be enough light to brighten it in here, but uh, something I do sometimes normal, normally like while they eat is fold laundry. Because there's always laundry. I think I did like seven loads of laundry yesterday. Not all dog laundry, but laundry in general. But definitely having puppies um, adds to the amount of laundry we have. The washing machine is never not full and then I have a whole pile of dirty towels and blankets from the dogs. Not even just the puppies, just the dogs in general because it's been super duper rainy here. So that means extra dirty towels from paw wiping. Um, but I am not going to do those. I think my Nana is going to take those and do them for me, fortunately. She lives around beside me and helps me out a lot when I have puppies, which I'm very thankful for because it can get to be a handful a lot of times. So, just folding up some whelping mats right quick before I go change into some real clothes for the day so I look like a little bit more human than I do right now. Clearly, I've gotten pretty comfortable in this channel considering I look like this. So, let's go change. All right, I'm ready for the day. Just wearing a little lemon line tank, some comfy joggers, socks and birds, because that's normally what I stay wearing around here. So now that I have I'll put up the day on, a folded laundry while the dogs have finished eating, I am coming in here to preheat the oven for breakfast for me and Matt. He's off this week for the school. Say good morning. I wonder what the biscuits have to be made out of. Yeah. What, babe? Thanks. So, look, so we're gonna make biscuits and gravy because our healthy cake starts in the new year, not 3.50. That's what I figured. So Matt's gonna wash some dishes. Well, I go back, check on the dogs again, let everyone out. He's also in charge of breakfast. He's our breakfast guy in this house. I do dinner, he does breakfast. Um, check on the dogs, let everyone out, and then start cleaning the whoop box and the puppies. So I'm gonna grab these things, see if I can double duty. And he might be nursing, because I hear them, but maybe not. Ugh. Trying to vlog and carry these is not easy. Okay, so everyone's content. No one's bowls are empty. So, watch out. Let me set you guys up real quick because I cannot put these up. Okay, so I got those up. And then, yeah, everyone's food. Like, not empty, but we don't let them eat for longer than like 10 to 15 minutes. They either eat or they don't eat. But we got into there. Let us put our bowls up here. Put this up because Ellie will eat it. She can't be out and trust it around the puppy or the adult dog food because she'll eat it all. She ate like nothing. So, what I'll do is I'll let her out pick up her dog food and then I'll put this back in there when um, 
we leave so she can eat that. Poodles out. Come on. And then Indy out. Uh uh. It's like a hassle trying to let everyone out. So puppies are in there playing. Now oh, everyone's out. Gonna play. And then now I am going to clean the puppies' area. So put a new mat down. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. Then playing. Put a new mat down. Put new pee pads down. Wipe down everything. So. Grab my swan paper towels. First things first. And go in here and set this down. We're starting to play. Look at this. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. This is Aspen. She's a lover. She's obsessed with us. Go down. Oh. oh. Tell me about it. <laughs> Alright, so they're still in the open box for probably another week. But I'm going to clean all this up. I'll probably set you guys up. I'm going to move the puppies like in a corner on like a blanket. So I can clean all this up. Alright guys, I got all the new supplies there. Puppies are in here and I am going to take this blanket right here and put it like right out the door and fluff it out so I can set them all here. They're so funny when they start to play at this age. Alright, so I'm going to move them now. Set you guys up somewhere. Now, they're all walking around, so they're probably gonna try to escape. Cause look at her, she's like climbing over that like it's no big deal. I gotta get them to all stay right there. Here. Go to sleep, go to sleep. While I try to take care of this mess. are escaping and crawling everywhere. Excuse me. guys their area is clean as you can tell by those clips they're clearly a lot more active than they have been so I'm gonna have to figure out something else to keep them contained because normally I could just lay a blanket down plop them on top of it they'd sleep they'd stay and clearly we have hit our active stage um, which is normal getting around three weeks but these this group's a little bit more active than your normal three weekers so everything's changed um, new pee pads their new pad um, I've wiped down the floor right here. These are the old ones. I'm about to go take them outside and shake them out and then add them to my laundry for my sweet Nana to do. Bless her. And then I'll probably do my puppy update with you guys. Excuse me. There we go. That, my friends, is what I mean by never ending 
laundry. All right, guys, as you can see, uh-uh. The dogs are just hanging out in here. We, another way we keep our house clean is we, there's our family dog, we're watching him. Max, if you notice him in this video, we're just babysitting. We like to use baby gates to separate our house. One, the dogs are never allowed upstairs, and two, we kind of section off the house depending on where we are. Matt's in there cooking right now, so he's got it sectioned off to where they can't be in the kitchen while he's cooking, things like that. And then they'll just hang out in here and lay down and sleep or chew on their bones and stuff. Um, while I was in there, you know, uh-uh, no ma'am, sit down. While I was in there, you know, tending to the puppies, Indy's cool enough to be away from them now since they're getting older. So, now, what I am going to do, again, ignore my face, I'm going to go in there and go ahead and do the puppy update, I believe. I need to actually, let's go check on Matt and see where breakfast is real quick. Four. I go in there and start that because that might be a little bit longer. How's breakfast coming along? Gravy's done. Gravy's done? Biscuits? Let's look. Did you follow directions? It's thick. It's thick. Good job. It's thick like my booty. Oh my god. Look at this rat's nest on top of his head. Like what? Look, <laughs> what is this? Doing. Okay, I've got sticks right here and he's got curly hair. Thumbs up for hopefully our kids having curly hair. But he's making the gravy. Biscuits are coming along. So I think I'm actually going to take a break. And we'll not take a break really, but eat breakfast real quick. Or we'll, I'll probably, can I let the dogs up here? Is that I'm gonna let the dogs have free reign of the house for a second. But first, let's put Max's food up because all of them want to eat his food. And then we'll get diarrhea. Put his food up. We're just watching him till Monday. So I'm going to let... This is what it's like. Always an audience. So, like I said, we normally section off the house. So I'm going to let the stampede through. And then I'll just pop this back up. So they can not get back there. So normally they'll just hang out. So yeah, they'll just kind of be out and about in here. A lot of times they'll go lay down over there. Ivy likes the place that over there. Got some bones throughout, and then gonna fill up their water. So now in between all of the taking care of dogs, we finally get to enjoy our breakfast. Right, babe? Even though you haven't done really much for the dogs this morning, you made breakfast, so thank you. All right guys, now that I and Matt have ate and the dogs have basically been taken care of, besides the fact that I'm gonna let everyone out one more time, I guess before our morning routine actually ends, I thought it would be fun to do a puppy update for you guys and I need to turn back around because I need to grab a few things. Uh, I thought it would also be fun to go ahead and see if we can add their big puppy collars today with you guys. So I'm just going to come in here, tell you guys a little bit about how the puppies are doing. Maybe show them like individually to you guys while I change their collars. Talk about kind of where we are. Um, like curriculum laws and things like that and just give you guys a little update on how everyone is doing all right guys so here's today we have a loud noise exposure that's the thing we have been working on curriculum wise over the past three days first day i did two metal bowls banging together yesterday i did vacuum by the whelping box and then today i think i might just holler let's see Hey, they didn't do anything for that. <laughs> that actually hurt my throat, so let me see. Maybe I'll take one of these things. This could be really loud. And drop it on the ground and see what they do. See if they have any reaction to this loud noise. Camden had a little bit of reaction, but not much. I just woke you up, huh? So, these loud noise exposures, right now they don't really have a fear complex at this age, so 
Having really brief, loud noises kind of teaches them to kind of just sleep through everything. Like you saw yesterday, I did, I vacuumed around them and they slept through it. The dogs are barking a lot too, so they sleep through it. So these puppies, you know, literally nothing bothers them. So that's kind of the curriculum based things that we're working on right now. Obviously, like I kind of talked to you guys about a little bit earlier, um, they're gonna probably stay in the whelping box until about three and a half to four weeks old and then we'll move to like, I'm gonna put another pin in here and kind of block off this half of the pin, introduce the litter boxes and stuff. But for now, they're doing really good on the pee pad. So I've got half the box and right here set up as like a potty area and that is their main sleeping area. They normally just sleep right here and then they potty over here. So they're really starting to get to the point where they understand that they sleep separate from where they use the bathroom. So they'll sleep over here, wake up and walk over here to potty. So they're doing really good with that. I also had someone in my last video ask me what these were for um, and these are just to prevent mom from rolling on their puppies. It's a really good space under there, a little gap like you can see they're like sleeping under them so if one puppy was to get behind mom when she was going to lay down a nurse, she would like they would be protected. So we've got all that going on. Tomorrow we have a lot more going on. So tomorrow we've got a noise exposure gentle handling exercises, which are 10 step handling exercises, a welding box novelty item, which will probably be a stuffed animal, at a designated potty area. We've already done our, my puppies were really showing me like earlier that they could handle that beforehand. We'll trim puppy nails, do photos, all that fun stuff tomorrow. So three weeks is when stuff really starts kicking off and we start doing a lot more noise exposures, different sounds, fireworks, alarms, thunderstorms and also start doing little different wealthy box novelty items so got some big things coming up for these puppies over the next few weeks things are definitely going to start getting a lot more fun as you can tell they're super duper sleepy currently we also are still fully nursing i believe around three and a half weeks old um i will start introducing puppy mush i don't feel any teeth erupting just yet i can i can feel them coming through but they've not fully broke through on i don't think any puppies yet so we are still exclusively breastfeeding on mom but puppy mush will be coming soon and i'll probably do a vlog the day i start puppy mush with them so y'all can kind of see their first time trying that so that's kind of where we are with everyone everyone's doing great mom's doing fantastic so yeah that's kind of the update on where we are with what the puppies are doing, starting their potty training. Um, we finished ENS and ESI. We're moving in to noise exposures, handling exercises. So like I said, three weeks and on, everything starts to get really fun. I mean, things start to get more busy. We start to expose the puppies to do things and they really start to become more active as you guys saw in those last clips of me trying to change out their well-being area. Literally, Two days ago, I could put them on a blanket and they'd sleep and now they want to explore everything. So I'm gonna find a good spot to prop you guys up and then I'm gonna show you each puppy individually and change their collars. All right guys, there really wasn't like a good spot to put you guys. So I've got y'all just sitting down here and the camera facing up, so excuse the angle. But I figure we'll go in order, birth order. I haven't taken their weights in a little bit just because um, I do weights every week now instead of every day, but first up is Miss Aspen. <laughs> so here is sweet little Aspen girl. She is definitely super sweet, super cute. She's one of the most adventurous puppies in the litter. She's always like the first one to figure something out and do something. They're super sleepy right now. As you can tell, she's literally going to sleep in my hands. So this is Miss Aspen. She's got um, she's not gonna like this. The white down her chest and everything. Super duper cute little girl. This is definitely not the angles for me. And I'm gonna try to put her little collar on. So they have just been wearing these little collars, as you can see. Oh, big yawn. I get these on Amazon. They're linked on my Amazon storefront down below. And now we're changing to these collars. Oh, dogs are freaking out. Um, these are also linked on my Amazon storefront. So these puppies have chunky necks. So you wanna try this? Oh, there you go. Got a big girl collar on now. They almost like, oh, does that feel good? They almost like don't have 
like necks because they're so fat. So there's Miss Aspen. She's got her new little collar on. Yeah. So here's Miss Vale. Yellow collar girl. Really sweet and pretty. She's I think our tiniest girl. <clears throat> tiniest in the litter. So really pretty. The light's really weird. It's hitting their faces so you can't really see where their white is. But she has a white star. White little nose. So there is Miss Vale. Her new little yellow collar. Sweet girl. Okay. Yeah. Next is Stowe. I'm not happy I woke him up. Mr. Stowe. I took his collar off of him a long time ago because he was the fattest of the litter and I thought it was just too tight. He's got the white all down his little belly. Super sweet little boy. So this is Mr. Snow. He is our tan collar. Can you put this on? There we go. So he just got his big boy collar. Say cheese. <laughs> Oh goodness, not happy. That was Mr. Stowe with his little collar. Yeah. Next is Sweet McCall. Here's little McCall girl. She's our lightest girl. Has the least bit of white. So she's a little bit more of like a cream. Really pretty little girl. She is our red collar. Get your collar on. So here is Miss McCall in her new little red collar. Shh. Sweet girl. Next, we have our biggest girl. This is Miss Breckenridge. I call her Breck or Brecky for short. Yeah, hi, sweet girl. She's pretty solid. Does it have much white to her? You gonna change your collar? Let's put this on. So here's Miss Brett. Yeah. Her new little purple collar. You can tell they're finding their voices. Yeah. Are you finding your voices? Shh. Mommy's not here. Girl. Next we have little Palmy girl. This is my little Palmer. <laughs> She's so cute. She's got a bunch of the white. Cute little white nose. Even got some white on the back of her neck. She's gonna be decently curly. Oh, don't run away, Pommy. I call her Pommy instead of Palmer. They've like all got names or nicknames that I've given them. There you go, sweet girl. She's so super calm. So there's Palmer with her new little boo collar. Next is Jackson. My chubby hook. My chubby hunk. This is Mr. Jackson. He definitely needs a new collar. He's getting chubby. <laughs> Miss Vale's chewing on my pants. Look, buddy. This one ain't gonna fit you. After a while, you're so chunky. There you go. Oh, so there's my chunkster Jackson. He's so big. And he's got a little bit of white. Oh, sweet boy. He's so cute. Look at that face. These puppies have the blockiest heads. There's Mr. Jackson. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> he's so chill too. And lastly, we have the curliest puppy in the litter. We have Miss Little Camden. 
This is her. She's real curly. Come here. I'm not your mama. You think I'm mama. But I'm not. Alrighty. So here's Miss Camden. In her new little orange collar. She's a sweet girl. She's definitely the curliest. Out of everyone. Yeah. Alright guys, so that is everyone. As a little update. Got their new collars. So they're getting bigger and starting to play as you saw earlier. So yeah, that's our little puppy update for this vlog. Alright guys, as you can hear the puppies are growling and playing in the background. So basically all that's left to complete my morning routine is to let all the dogs out for the second time um, after they've ate and their food has had time to digest. But I'm going to spare you guys that. Just know that's kind of like the last thing before we kind of get our day started. I've done this a lot more slower than normal because we don't have anything to do. But on a normal day when we do have things to do and get to, this is like a really quick process, like a 30 to 45 minute process. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little talkative morning routine with six big dogs, eight puppies. I hope you also have enjoyed getting a little bit of a puppy update, seeing everything that we're doing with the puppies right now and how much they have already grown in almost three weeks. It'll be three weeks old tomorrow and three weeks old by the time you're watching this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.